All right, we have another special guest in, David Kambelik, who's running for judge in one of, I guess, four different districts that they have here? They're actually not districts, it's countywide. Uh huh. So there are eight courts in our county, uh -huh. and there are currently, will be five judges up for election, three are incumbents, and uh, they will be running unopposed, and then there's two judges that are retiring. Ah, I see, and you're running for one of those jobs. Now, you've been doing this for a long time, being uh, a lawyer in this county, haven't you? I have been a lawyer for about 37 years. Ooh. Ooh, you don't look a day over 38. You know? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so that gives you quite an experience having been in front of so many judges. You kind of have a pretty good idea of what it takes. I have been in uh, virtually every courtroom in the county, and I think I've appeared in front of every judge except maybe one or two of the newer ones. Um, as I've done just about everything that there is that uh, we see in El Dorado County. Well, speaking of that, you've got a very extensive volunteer work, too, and that's, that's something that I think is important for uh, judges that they need to feel, we need to feel like they're part of our community. Well, I'm very proud of my commitment to the county of El Dorado. Um, I've been involved in uh, Plasterville Rotary Club since 1978, and the motto of the Plasterville Rotary Club is service above self, and I, that's m the best part of Rotary to me is going out and working on the uh, Rotary Little League Park or uh, working on the skateboard park or uh, giving back to the community both in work and financially. So I've, I've also been involved in Marshall Hospital on the Board of Directors. Uh, That's very important. On uh, the El Dorado Community Foundation, which is a wonderful uh, organization that provides a lot of financial benefits to the underprivileged. So uh, so I assume then that gives you quite a bit of community support. What kind do you have? Well, I, I have endorsements across the board, um, but the thing that's the most thrilling to me is the people that are working for me. I mean, they're just coming out of the woodwork and it's so uplifting. Running for office is not particularly fun. It's a, it's, a lot, <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of work. But uh, what lifts me up is all the volunteers. Uh, and I'm also humbled by the, uh, the people in, that are more notable that have endorsed me, including uh, up here Judge Bailey, who is mm -hmm. the presiding judge of the juvenile court. Uh, I also have the support of Judge Brooks down in, on Main Street, uh, Judge Strasner down in Cameron Park, um, retired judges, Judge Finney, who uh, ah, I remember him. was one of my mentors. Uh, I worked for him when he was the district attorney. Okay. Uh, judge Riley. Uh, so you've got a lot of former judges that are behind you. And what makes you a little bit unique, would you say, qualified for your judge to be a judge? Sum it up in a couple of sentences. Well, to me, I have the breadth and depth that no other candidate has. I've got years of experience. I've got experience in virtually everything that is done in El Dorado County courts. Uh, from I have civil experience across the mm -hmm. board, unlawful detainers, conservatorships, probates, uh, guardianships, domestic relations. So you have everything it takes to be an impartial judge because of how long you've been doing it, what kind of the breadth of all the things you have done and the fact that you have uh, appeared in front of every single judge with every single kind of case possible pretty much. And one of the things I'm really proud of is I do have diverse support. I mean Great. liberals, conservatives, m women, men, um, I think that speaks highly for the fact that I can be independent on the bench. Thanks very much. David Kambelik, who's running for judge here in El Dorado County. I want to thank him for coming in. And we'll be back with more on the Tahoe Today Show right after this.